Hey friend, it's Brian here. Look, um, hey to my good friends, my best friends coming back, and hey to any new friends uh, that are coming in. Thank you for being here. Um, the world, right? The world is an interesting time right now. So I don't know when this video is going to come out. Maybe by the time everything, this video comes out, everything is cleared up. Right now, it is a rare time in the world where every, everyone's going through a similar situation. It's so rare. It's kind of scary. But it's also, there's some beauty in being connected with people, right? That we're all going through the same thing. There's some there's some beauty in that. So uh, I'm Brian. If I don't know if I say that again, um, and what I've been doing on this channel with my friends, we've been getting together on YouTube, watching some of the coolest things, but mostly music because music is such a great way to be connected to each other. I get to go where you are, you get to come where I am, and I call it a musical vacation. And right now, many, many, many of us are stuck in the spots that we are at in our homes, in our rooms, in our cities, in our towns. Uh, you probably can't even go out in the city. Um, um, and this is not this is the best time to go on a musical vacation so we're gonna go wherever the artist is and be connected together and not just through our our troubled times and troubled experiences but through the joy of music okay so uh, let me know where you are at in the world um, what city with stable country or constant also let me know if you're doing good uh, and I'm in New Orleans Louisiana and uh, I'm I'm Quarantined. I'm quarantining, 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 quarantining myself. Actually, um, kind of. I just feel like this this city attracts a lot of tourists, and it is a hub for uh, the virus. Uh, anyway, I just watched Kale. I'm not sure what the order the videos are going to be in, but now I'm going on to Daryl Ong, and this is his this time freestyle. All right, so let's just see what that is. I don't even know what that means, but we're gonna check it out. They're all about the wine. They're all about the wine, y'all. What's wrong, Daryl? Oh, 
to my mind is his execution right in connection with his runs because we know that he does great runs a lot of people do runs but it's the way that he execute his runs I, I can hear the piano in his voice like some runs are just they're just runs their emotions their feelings uh, but his runs are very technical right he, he really his runs are like playing a piano right and he gets he hits every note and it's most emphasized on the lowest note he hits in the run. It has a certain ring to it. And I love his low, those low notes that he hits. It has such a, a nice ring to it. Uh, that was nice. Um, his voice also, I, was li I just listened to Kel, as I said at the beginning of the video. And Kel's voice, to me, has a lot of swag to it. And he has a lot of, uh, he seems like the cool guy, right? Not saying that Daryl Ong isn't cool. I'm not sure of their personalities. Um, but Daryl Ong's voice has a sweeter sound to it and has, uh, to me at least, uh, and maybe it could be just song selection, like he chose it, the song was very, very sweet. And then the, the way his voice, even in the different registers, the way it rings when his low notes and the way it rings when he starts projected, it's, it's like he, he finds sweet spots in his voice and it just hits really sweetly. Um, so I like that, I like that in his voice. Um, and I also, when I was, I was listening to it, it made me think, I need to, at some point in my life, go to the Philippines. Or I, I understand why I like Philippine singers so much because they enjoy nine, they enjoy that '90s R&B, which is what I grew up on, and they enjoy uh, their talent to be able to actually sing. Not saying there's anything wrong with artistry uh, that doesn't involve like that that R&B style singing, but that's just what I grew up on. That's what I like, uh, and I like that. That's what they all do for the most part that I know that I've seen. I enjoy that, so I feel like I really like being in the Philippines because that's what they're rooted in, apparently. They enjoy, you know, that kind of music, that 90s R&B singer-singer. You know, that's, my, that's my vibe right there. That's my vibe. I really enjoy that. Now, I'm interested, what made this a freestyle? Because when I first started, when I first looked at it, I was like, is he going to be rapping? No, not Daryl Oh, no, not Daryl Oh, huh? Uh, and then I would say, well... It looked like he plays piano. I'm not sure. I haven't seen him play piano. I thought maybe he was just playing some chords and he was singing. Um, and he was, you know, like just coming up with a song. But it wasn't that either. So I'm interested. I wonder if anyone knows what uh, the freestyle part of this all is. But, yeah, it was nice. The song definitely um, also felt a little dated. Like it felt like an old school 90s song. So, yeah, cool. I liked it. I liked it. I still think my favorite from Daryl Ong... Uh, is his boys to men, the boys to men med medley. Like that the best. Well, this is great. All right, I am going to the next video. That's where I'll be if you want to see me. And if this is going to be, so don't let this be the last time. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Let's be friends, and I'll see you in the next video. Please, bye.